2020 was the year of SPACs and for the year of EV companies. But 2021 is starting out with a bang with NEO. NEO is actually having their very own NEO day. On January 9th, they will be possibly coming out with a brand new sedan, updating consumers and investors on autonomous driving features along with other important company updates. If you are looking for other younger EV companies that could compare to Tesla, someday in the future then stick around because neo may just be one of those companies uh, back on deck on my fly shit uh, back on. really on really on my shit uh, really on. pay some respect to my mindset hey, hey, hey up. blowing smoke catch a contact Blow it up. really mad they can't stop us back on the scene young conscious welcome back everybody or if you're new here my name is sean and over the past year i've been making videos over the stock market well, mostly. Neo has actually been on my radar for a while now, dating back all the way to July 12th of 2020, where I compared Neo to what I call the industry standard Tesla. So it is actually nice to look into them one more time to see if we like them more, less, or the same. Today, we're gonna be looking at a chart, some forecasts, some statements, wrapping up with a statement of my very own, deciding whether or not at this price point of Neo, if it is actually a buy in my eyes. Obviously, not your guys' eyes because you guys have financial advisors. You're just watching me for entertainment purposes. We all know the deal. Unless you don't know the deal, then you know it now. So jumping right into it, let's look into a chart. Oh, actually, um, before I forget, remember, I am just a YouTuber and my opinions literally do not matter. Just ask my family. All right, guys, I wanted to wait for Monday to see what the move was going to be. But then Monday did happen and I ended up not recording. So now I am recording on Wednesday. Don't ask what happened on Tuesday. I, don't, I, st I still don't want to talk about it. Because for the first time ever in the history of this channel, two weeks in a row, we have seen my favorite setup. I talked a lot about it in last week's video. You should definitely go check that out. But I am talking about consolidation and plus in addition to volume shelves. So what I'm talking about here is this consolidation right here, bada bada boom, and this volume shelf right here, bada bada boom. It might be very early in Neo's consolidation pattern here, and if it plays out like my favorite pattern would, then I wouldn't expect the price in this time frame to go any higher than the current all-time high of 57 two so that's right here i wouldn't expect it to go any higher than two so this is today this is wednesday that's tuesday and that was monday i was waiting for that to happen because obviously you see these lines here these were drawn on sunday um so you could see it was very early on but it didn't get any higher than 57.2 which is a good thing now i'm not saying that it won't ever get higher than 57.2 or it can't right now. I'm just saying, if we're looking at it as if it was my favorite play, my favorite pattern, uh, this is what we're looking out for right now. As of right now, the price is $50.50. Yeah, I struggled on that for some reason. So if you clicked on this video to find out if it is a buy right here, right now, at this very price, I would say no, my lawyer would say uh, I plead the fifth, and your financial advisor would probably say something different. But as you can see from the lines that I made at the bottom, they stayed the same, but the top, will need some adjusting now. And I will say that is the only thing that is possible with this pattern. Because like I said earlier in the video, it is kind of early in the con consolidation pattern. And what I mean by that, it started here, went up to here, came back down, right? Right there, right there. And now I'm expecting, right? It started that move today, but I'm expecting it come down somewhere right there. And then we'll keep working our way. Boom, 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 boom. You get the point. Right? But, you know, what does this all mean? We're gonna edit this one right here. Edit properties. We're gonna move this and say that, boom, that is now the new line. We got two points right there. We got this point and this point. I'd say that line is now pretty sturdy. Just like we learned in last week's video, we can somewhat predict what kind of move will happen. You take the bottom and you take the top and you, you know, you figure out the difference. You take 57.2 minus 37.7 and that equals $19.43. So there's a possibility that Neo's stock price could move $19.43 per share in the near future, depending on how long it consolidates and if any crazy news catalysts come out. Considering that we have Neo Day coming on the 9th, that could very well be the news catalyst that we are looking for. So let's take a look at what we could see on Neo Day. As you've probably seen already, Neo is most likely going to be coming out with a brand new sedan. If not one, possibly two. I've seen it stated that they are coming out with an ET7 and an EE7, both of which are sedans, bringing them to a total of five different options of cars, ranging from SUVs and crossovers and sedans. But in those cars that they are coming out with, I think What's even more interesting is the stuff that's inside of it. I'm talking about the technology. When we talked earlier today about the autonomous driving options, 
let's start breaking it down and seeing where we're at. Uh, level zero is none. Level one is driver assistance. Level two is partial assistance. Level three is conditional. The driver is a necessity, but isn't required to monitor the environment. The driver must be ready to take control of the vehicle at all times with notice. And this is where we're currently at with Tesla and other self-driving autonomous features in, in, you know, in the other cars that nobody really cares about. We're you know, Tesla. We got level four, which is high automation. The vehicle is capable of performing all driving functions underneath certain conditions. The driver may have the options to control the vehicle. And finally, level five of full automation. The vehicle is capable of performing all driving functions under all conditions. The driver may have the option to control the vehicle. Now, I believe that Neo will be coming out with level four automation, autonomous driving on Neo Day, which is January 9th, 2021. Now, I believe that Neo will be coming out with the level four autonomous driving in their new cars, the ET7 and the EE7. Uh, and this will presumably all come out on the Neo Day of you know January 9th. Also, there are rumors that they're coming out with a brand new battery bank. They're coming out with 150 kilowatt battery hour. I, yeah, technical terms, yeah. I, I, yeah, I didn't know any of the technical terms. So I started doing the math and figuring out, you know, what all this really meant. Uh, the range is 900 kilometers, which converts to 559 plus some change, miles. Now, if you guys are still sitting there and not having your mind physically blown off right now, let me put it in perspective. The average sedan gas tank size is 12 gallons. The average sedan miles per gallon is 24.9, meaning the average range on sedans for with those numbers right there is 298.8. My car currently gets 325 to 350 miles, and I only drive from home to work, home to work, so highway. The Tesla sedan on a full charge has a range of only 402 miles. So we got 559 proposed for the new battery bank of the new the new Neos. We got my car, well, no, we got my car over here. We got the my car over here, 320 to 350, and we got somewhere in the middle, Tesla, 400 and two miles as you can see here you know if i had if i had any any editing skills i would show you right here a graph so these two factors right here although not actually confirmed not at least until the actual neo day could be the news catalyst that could send our stock 19 dollars and 40 some odd cents to the upside but if people and, and investors get too hyped on this information of neo day and neo day it turns out to be a flop then it could definitely send the stock 19 dollars and 40 some odd cents to the downside. And if it did that, the price would start moving very quickly because the volume from compared to where it's at right now, where it is consolidating versus where it was at during the first video I made on Neo is very low. So not a lot of people have bought in in the middle range, meaning that it will drop quicker. With all this in mind, let's take these next few moments to start looking at future projections of Neo. All right, and, and as always guys, I love to joke about this portion of the video, but I have come to actually love this portion of the video. Um, I, I think it's fun. My recent videos, we have been looking into two companies that you know do projections of whatever stock we're looking at. And I love to see what our friends at WalletInvestor.com and CNN Business or CNN Money have to say about future projections. So by typing these simple words, future projections of Neo stock. Into Google, this is what Wallet Investor had to say. First up, we have the Wallet Investor, and from this website, we can see that the current price is listed as $50.50, like we said. The seven day forecast is get it now, and actually, I don't know a single video where Wallet Investor hasn't said the seven day forecast is get it now. However, the one year forecast is, uh, it is saying that it, in one year, it will be over $120, and the five year forecast is a whopping $408 obviously with some change there. Now this is three straight companies that we've looked at where Wild Investor is thinking some crazy gains. But if Neo lives up to the hype on Neo Day, is it really that crazy? Now for our second contestant, CNN Money will show us what they are thinking. On CNN, Neo's current stock price is listed at $50.50, so you know, we're very consistent at least. Um, However, we see that this graph is showing a low, median, and high price. The low is $98.10. That's an increase of 94.3% in just 12 months. The median stock price for NEO is going to be $327.15, which is an increase of 547.8% and a high of $557.79 per share, which is an increase of 806.5%. Yeah. I barely looked at those numbers and I didn't stumble at all. What is, what's nice about CNN Money is that they actually give you know a little description of what they mean and how you know how they came to their reasonings. So from right here on the left side, they say the stock price forecast. The 15 analysts offering a 12-month price forecast for Neo 
Incorporation has a median target of $327.15, with a high estimate of $457.79 and a low estimate of $98.10. Okay, just keep in mind, no matter what, it's still increasing in price, which is weird. So they had 15 analysts say this. The median estimate represents a, an increase of 547.82% increase from the last price of $50.50. The analyst recommendations. The current consensus among 15 polled investment analysts to, is to buy stock in Neo Incorporation. This, this rating has held steady since December. Well, it's only January, so I mean, that doesn't really mean anything when it was unchanged from the buy rating. As we look over here, we can see that nine analysts said buy, four said hold, and two said sell because it's gonna underperform. And that really hasn't changed. October, 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 November, 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 November. Very consistent numbers we can see here. All this information is fine, but it, you know, it really means nothing at the end of the day. And I say this every video. I'm not here to say that, you know, 30 years down the line, yeah, say, yeah, this would have been a great place to buy. No, no, I'm here to tell you guys what my thoughts are on, on Neo right now and whether it, in the short term, it is a good price to be buying right now for a, a short term move or short term play. And especially for the, the pattern that I'm trying to use in this, you know, this scenario. It is nice that the stock is, you know, forming into one of my favorite patterns, my favorite pattern in, in, in trading. However, it's still hovering at the upper side of the, of the range. So we gotta be weary of what happens. So if or when the stock ends up moving down into the 45 or even better, the $41 range, I'd much rather be buying it there than at the high of 57. Even if it does end up moving lower and you end up getting a nice entry point, none of this ends up working unless we don't hear some crazy news catalyst or something crazy happens. Not really necessarily crazy, but something to you know boost confidence in investors to shoot the stock price up $19 and 40 some odd cents and change per share, obviously. And those news catalysts could be the new cars, it could be in the new autonomous driving, it could be the battering banks, it, you know, it could be any of those things. And I even heard rumors about this that they're gonna be they're gonna be moving into new locations, which which is gonna be huge for the company in the long term, especially if they want to keep growing and growing. They gotta keep expanding and, and well, expanding. So is it a buy in my eyes right now for the short term? trying to do the possible move pattern that you know I've been talking about for the whole video and all previous videos? No. Do I think Neo could be a good buy for the long term? I mean, the easy answer is yes. But guys, that brings me to my next point. I will be doing updates on this company, especially throughout through a, a Neo day. So if you guys are here right now at this point in the video and you'd like to stay updated on Neo or, or future companies, you know, down the road, I might be doing this in continuously. Uh, let me know in the comment section below. Other than that, guys, that is all I have for you on this one. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.